Buy my shirt. Buy my shirt. Buy my, Buy my hat. Buy it all. Hey everybody, what's up? If you're new to my channel, my name is Chris Clemens, or if you're one of my Clementines, welcome back to the dysfunction that is my channel. What is the phrase? Talk about live moss. So if you guys missed it, I did an adventures in vegan cooking video where I made spaghetti squash and vegan meat sauce. Apparently, you bitches were hungry because y'all told me to make more. But today, I wanted to do a little bit of a twist and... Is this a twist? What? Hmm. Why do I do this? Every time I'm trying to like introduce a video, I'm just basically trying to build up to what the title already says. So yeah, I'm going to be attempting to make a vegan Crunchwrap Supreme from Taco Bell. So my background with Taco Bell's Crunchwrap Supreme is that I would usually order like three at a time. Hey Siri, add that to uh, facts I've shared with the internet. No, that, please don't actually do that. You guys know I love to, um, <laughs> what was that, like give a knife a you guys know I like to smoke, and I can't go near Taco Bell anymore because there are no dairy alternatives there. So I went out and I got everything that is in a Crunchwrap Supreme, and I'm gonna try and make it vegan style. There are gonna be no tomatoes though, because tomatoes in this is like a crime. So a quick rundown before we go everything. I've got the hard shell tortillas for the center crunch. I've got the large tortilla that I may or may not have eaten one whole is leaving the parking lot, dipping it in to the vegan queso. I got. Next, we have the beans and the vegan sour cream. This one is good, but it definitely needs some modifications that you will see. Then I got, of course, field grow sausages. This is Mexican chipotle flavor, and I got seasoning to really give it that Taco Bell effect. And then lastly, we have romaine because it's also an ingredient. I don't know what my explanation is. Like, and then, yes, and then so I referenced earlier. All right, let's live moss. That is the fucking same. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> like, you didn't say anything before. <laughs> I'm like, oh my god, is it still live moss? So the first thing I am doing is I'm gonna start with the sausage. Okay, this knife really just couldn't be duller. Oh no, but it's actually kind of nice because it's heavy. It's but it just... doesn't cut. Like it didn't. So I'm going in with this Morphe M21 brush. You could probably get a wish none of these work. So I'm just gonna take these vegan sausages out of their casing. I can't emphasize enough that I have no recipe for this. I am just like a dude in college, free balling for my life. So like I did in my other vegan cooking video, I'm cutting these up into like, you know, fuck. Oh my god. And I want these to be very ground up, unlike the spaghetti squash where I wanted them to be a little chunkier. I want this to be fucking shut the fuck yeah just whatever he said in whatever language my name is tom and i'm british so now that these are in the blender i'm gonna go blend them <laughs> <laughs> like do you ever fucking film cooking videos and you're like this shit is just self-explanatory oh my god this actually literally looks like <laughs> the fucking crunch up supreme meat how's this cheating towards the light it's good. Very professional. Yeah. Suck it, Bon Appetit. I'm actually pretty stoked about this. This looks basically like the grout meat in the Crunchwrap Supreme. If this video goes well start to finish, I think this will be a first. I'm using a pot instead of a frying pan to do this. I'm fully aware. We just did our dishwasher. I don't feel like unloading it. We're using that. So I'm just gonna put a little bit of olive oil on the pan. I'm going to just let it heat up and then we're gonna throw this shit on. I'm just gonna throw this shit on. So the meat is on the stove, as you can very well see. Yep, there it is. Confirmed. See? No lies here. Just a whole lot of sweat. Now I'm gonna put on some of the Mexican Fiesta seasoning. I'm kind of just going in on it. I literally don't even know how this tastes, so I would say what could go wrong, but truly the world. While the meat is on, I had the idea of mixing the beans in with the meat to give it a little bit more... Wait, I don't want this to necessarily be runny. Okay, never mind. I'm not putting the beans in with the meat. I actually am now wondering how well this is going to turn out because I just remembered that, like, literal tortilla origami is involved. The meat's looking pretty done, so I'm just going to turn her off. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rinse off the beans and chop the romaine. So... Oh my god. Ooh. I smell that? Oh my god, it smells like shit. So what I'm going to do is go over to the sink and just strain these out. Now that the beans are all washed off, I'm just gonna put them in a bowl and let them like 
fucking be beans in a bowl. I don't know. <laughs> Why do I attempt to do cooking videos? Now I'm going to chop up some romaine, and I like my lettuce. With E. coli. <laughs> what I'm gonna do is just chop up the romaine because that's like a pretty key part of the Crunchwrap Supreme. Oh, be sure to leave a comment down below. What do you order from Chipotle Taco Bell? <laughs> We're just gonna let those sit there. Look how fucking professional this looks. So I've used this before to do sour cream. It basically tastes like their cream cheese. There's no sour to it. So what I've done in the past is I've added a little bit of lemon juice and a little bit of apple cider vinegar to give it that cut that I feel like sour cream has. Is that a, like, give it the cut? You said it with confidence, so I kinda, I took it. Okay, cool, yeah, the cut, I'm gonna cut it. You need to cut it. <laughs> mm. Sometimes I'm just like, wow, thank God that was captured on camera forever. All right, so I'm just gonna put in, like, you can always add more. You wanna be pretty careful because I find that apple cider vinegar has a very distinct taste and I don't love tasting it. Needs way more. Not way more, but like, yeah, like I said, just start, start small. Start small, dream big. All right, this is starting to taste a lot more like sour cream. Well, like, more so than, like, this. Look at how good this turned out. Oh my god, we're already at, like, the building stage. Look at us go, Bob, the builder. No, I... No, it was good. You're so good. <laughs> you were, like, literally talking me off the ledge. <laughs> Chris, no, 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 don't spiral, don't spiral. It's great. <laughs> it said literal gibberish. What I'm gonna need for building is one of these in the center, because it's a crunch wrap. Crunch. Oh, I'm now remembering I ate also one of these in the queso. On the drive home from the grocery store this morning, because I was hung over. <laughs> I really could throw up from being so hot over. I don't know why I'm closing this as if I'm not gonna ever need another one of these. I'm gonna break this one in 20 seconds. I don't know shit. <laughs> I, I don't know shit, exactly. Now, basically, we're gonna be constructing it. I don't know the order of any of this. So let's do it. I'm trying to think of like what order it all goes in. Okay, I'm gonna put the meat down first. No, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna sour cream it. Wow. Legend. So we're just gonna do like a nice circle of that. Maybe like a little more for good luck. And then like maybe a little more because you never know if you hit a fork in the road. And then like a little more because <laughs> it's vegan. <laughs> I don't even want to know what that looked like on the receiving end of the camera. It wasn't great. Yeah, th well no, thank you. I That's what I established. So now I'm gonna take the meat and we're gonna make this like a meaty bitch. Oh my god, wait, I can't put too much stuff because I have to be able to fold this. And then I'm gonna put some beans. All right, so now we're gonna take the circle part you know do whatever this <laughs> whatever that motion is and then we're gonna put the rest of the shit on it we're going in with this cashew queso oh my god and this is gonna get all melty and warm when we put it on the stove <sighs> all right and then the last thing we're doing is putting lettuce on fuck now i have to fold it do i cheat and look at a picture i, would I do feel like, like just doing one it. over and then like oh the and then you just one. Oh. yeah and then the next oh my god i'm fucking yeah. oh it's not hitting the middle. The middle. So what we're gonna do is take another tortilla and just rip. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a band-aid for your tortilla. We're gonna lay it on top to really seal in the deal with the carb intake. And then we're just gonna bring her around town. Um, oh my god, this is like low-key working. Feels like it shouldn't be. Oh my god. 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 I'm holding this together more than I've ever held my life together. All right, here we go. Oh my god. I have to oh do it upside down so the folds yeah. stay. Oh my god. Oh my god. I could burn my hand. I don't care. First fucking try, no research. I'm a happy boy. I'm gonna kind of press on it because when it's in the thing. Yeah, panini press. It's basically a flattened panini press. So we're just kind of rubbing her down. We all know what I'm doing. I don't need to. I don't need to narrate. We'll save that for Morgan Freeman. I'm so. <gasps> I just. Okay. I got a little peek, and I don't want to brag, but it looks exactly like a Crunchwrap Supreme. <laughs> I am. I think a fat ass. I think all this shows is that I'm a fat ass. <laughs> I didn't need to Google what this shit looks like, how to build it. Okay. Oh my God. That that is like. That. That's a Crunchwrap. That is a Crunchwrap, <laughs> bitch. Ow. Oh. Oh, 
Okay, still excited, but don't put your hand directly on it after flipping it. Oh my god! This looks like- Oh my god, the shot. Oh my god. The show isn't over because we still have to taste it, so- Wow, you're a classy bitch. I've never seen anyone cut a Crunchwrap Supreme in half. No, here's the thing. I don't think anybody has cut a Crunchwrap <laughs> Supreme in half. Oh. Oh! Guys, I don't want to be that bitch, but things I did, that. Alright, the real test comes down to the taste, so... This is crazy. Is it good? That was a very subtle reaction. <laughs> I don't know. Like, it's not bad. I feel like this is a problem I run into very commonly with vegan food, is that the flavors are very distinct. If you're vegan and you want Taco Bell, will this curb the craving? 3,000%. Yeah. There's nothing like biting into a Crunch Up Maybe. Supreme and like having like the queso like ooze out. Like that shit makes me w I think I just need to add more. I was like kind of scared. Overall, like really, if you want the Taco Bell kind of flavor, but you're vegan or can't have dairy or meat, this is great. I wish that I could have the queso that Taco Bell uses. <laughs> Overall, I give this like an 8.5 out of 10. I can't believe this turned out <laughs> like at all. I honestly can't either. This is stunning. I mean like not like... This is stunning! <laughs> Talent down! Oh my god. Oh my god. What just- oh yeah, are you A okay? A pepper flake just flew. Oh my god. A red pepper flake just flew to the back of my throat, got stuck there, and just burned. Anyway, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um... Let me know if you make this or if you have any tips. Oh my god, I can't stop sweating and thinking about how on fire my throat is right now. Alright guys, I can't see anything. <laughs> there we go. I feel like I just ripped that like silicone mold off my face. If you try this, feel free to tweet it to me or Instagram it. Tag me. Were those coherent sentences? Who cares? Alrighty, don't forget to like this video, share it with friends, subscribe to my channel, buy my merch, but in the meantime, <gasps> stay cool. Oh. Yeah, I, you can't <laughs> and I was like, come back. Come back. <laughs>